what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so i did want to make another video today going over the solar crown newsletter number seven or in some places you'll probably notice it as the solar club number seven nonetheless though in the other video i did talk about it was having a one one scale of hong kong like not even kidding guys i'm actually really hyped for this game i do know despite some of the things of like only being pvp or you know being online only and stuff you know what I'm still excited for this game because it is still going to be a new racing game. We can actually jump on and try it. And who knows, maybe this game coming out or like the presence of it may end up making other games even improve or actually get better because, you know, another game is now out that it has to compete against it. We have seen things like this with like Need for Speed going against like the crew or, you know, in some ways, I guess you could say they go against each other. We also have Forza and stuff like that. But let's be real. We do need another racing game, guys, so I am excited for Test Drive to come out, and I would say a lot of players are most likely going to be excited for it. Now, the thing I did want to talk about a bit in this video is going to come down to the home stretch in the article. It is basically talking about the 1-1 scale of the map, but the other part of it, fully integrating a car model with the TDU quality level of detail can take up to four months. This includes the detailed modeling to meet manufacturer requirements, adding details for maximum immersion while driving, including interior lighting with some models, unique animations such as reclining roofs for cabriolets. Finally, I've always loved that feature. Pretty sure that's also going to be in Grand Theft Auto V, so seeing that in like a racing game is something I would almost say everybody is excited for. Can I say it? Why can we not do that in Motorfest? And also, why is there not a hard top 2024 Mustang? My goodness. Nonetheless, though, guys, physics for every road surface, engine sounds, and upgrades. It's a huge amount of work to provide the most enjoyable and authentic game possible. Each car model is evaluated and tested multiple times to ensure each car provides specific sensations and a unique driving experience. So one thing I have to say about this is I do like the fact that they are taking the time on each vehicle's model and design. Now, I would say a lot of players are going to go, well, wait a minute, Blocked. Have you been watching the trailers that have been coming out? None of those cars look finished. I have to say this, guys. I really feel like I can't judge the game on a trailer. Like, we do know the game probably looks better. But who knows? Maybe that's just me being a bit too optimistic. But I really do think the game is going to be better than the trailers are showing it. Also, can I ask something right now? Does every game actually have four months or like maybe two to four months or something like that when designing a car in the said game? Like, for example, does Motorfest have that? Does it take two months to make a car in there? Or are they just like reusing like the assets? Like, I really don't know how that works. Not sure on like the entire coding and design process of that. Do let me know in the comments below, but I do admit a test drive unlimited quality of a vehicle taking up to four months makes me madly excited. Like imagine that car sound, the detail of the vehicle itself is probably going to be incredible. And I am also going to show you a screenshot from the actual like newsletter thing here, seeing like the design of a car. I think that's a Porsche, most likely going to be a um, Panamera maybe. But also on top of that though, if you think about this guys, each car is going to take up around let's say three to four months on average to do them. On top of that though, they have to add on something to like the driving immersion around the map with like the car sounds, the way that car looks in the lighting going around like a rock face or seeing the sun come down from like a different angle. Like that's crazy to think about. And I also wonder if other racing games go through a similar process. I would almost guarantee that each racing game probably does go through months of development with that. Like do you guys think each car in other games like Motorfest or even Need for Speed Unbound or I guess you could say like the Need for Speed franchise. And what I am wondering here though is do you guys also think Need for Speed and Motorfest goes through a similar design of the vehicles taking up to four months? Or is it most likely going to be something along the lines of, oh, this car's done in one month. Maybe that's why like it doesn't handle good or maybe the engine sound or something is off on that. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. And not, no, comments below. And not only do we get a crit, no. And not only is it going to take up to four months to actually design these cars to make them absolutely perfect, we also get a 1-1 scale of Hong Kong, which honestly, I can't wait for.